Hi everyone, today we're going to have a quick look at the Sartorialist book called uh, Closer. This is by the photographer Scott Schumann. I believe this is his second book. I've also got his first book on the channel here along with hundreds of other photography books, um, portrait books and um, books from different genres. So uh, let's have a quick look. I don't normally talk into the mic but I thought we'd do this one a little bit differently today. Um, so I'm going to flick through a few of the pages and just have a little, uh, a little bit of commentary as we go. So um, Scott started the Sartorialist blog around 2005, I believe. Um, I actually remember meeting Scott in London a couple of years later at London Fashion Week. Um, had a quick chat with Scott, he seemed like a good guy. He was quite an inspiration to my own photography. Um, at the time I was shooting quite a bit of studio work and then I started to progress into some street photography. What I like about Scott's work is um, he photographs people from all different cultures and um, travels the world. Um, he really knows his fashion and style. He has a real good knack of capturing somebody in the moment and making them feel relaxed. And I think that's a real good skill as a photographer to learn. And that's what you can learn, especially through street photography, is being able to interact with somebody. And um, so take this young girl here, she's, uh, you know, her face, she's not smiling, she's just, Scott's just said, you know, relax and be yourself and he's just captured her in her thoughts in that day and I think that's quite a special thing. So as I was saying, Scott really knows his fashion. I think he didn't start as a photographer. I believe he started um, in fashion and then progressed into taking portraits after he started photographing one of his children. Um, so I'd recommend everyone take a quick look at uh, Scott's blog as well, The Sartorialist. And um, also have a look at some of his other books. He's got four in total now, four or five. So he's got a couple on, two or three on street photography and fashion. And I think he's just released one uh, for India as well. That'd be quite interesting if I can get hold of that book at some point. I'll just have a quick flick through the book and see what you think. I know everyone has previously said that I go through the pages too quick. But hey, you know, some of these are two or three hundred pages long, so um, I recommend if you like what you see, then uh, check the book out. Um, I'll leave a link below. It's an, it is an affiliate link, so if you do buy through that link, then it helps support the channel, and I really appreciate that. I think one of his lenses that he likes is the 50 mil. Uh, I think you could shoot either with the 1.4 or 1.2. It's going to be, I've used both. They're both good lenses to use for this sort of style of work. So it's quite a nice uh, detailed shot there. This is the lady off the front cover. I think you can learn a lot from looking through this book. And I would say go and buy the book as well. Um, you know, it's relatively cheap to buy. And um, although it's nice looking at Scott's blog, you're, you're helping support the artist. And also when you've got something physical in your hands, um, you're gonna appreciate it a little bit more. So you can sit down and um, look through the pictures and try to study a little bit about what actually makes the picture and how you can uh, use that skill uh, in your own photography. So here we've got some quite nice uh, back lighting on these two images. I think the book itself has been very nicely laid out. Um, I'd quite like to get hold of the hard copy actually. It's quite expensive in the UK. 
here. Uh, I'm going to see if I can get hold of a copy. Um, I think they're going to be very good uh, coffee table books as well. It's something that I would like just to leave out on my coffee table here and uh, let guests have a look at. I know everyone's going to say I'm going through this too fast, but hey, it's my channel. But uh, yeah, leave me a comment below of uh, what you think of Scott's work and if you find it inspiring yourself. Maybe you're a fashion stylist or you work in the fashion industry or a photographer. I think, I think everyone would quite enjoy looking through this book actually. I think I could leave it on the table and friends would come around and have a little look through. We will see. I'll get back to you on that one. I quite like the way the book is laid out as well. As we've got um, a lot of the images, uh, they complement each other. So we've got two black and whites here. I think I'm going to go through them a little quicker so you can see. Uh, yes, also in this second book, we've got little snippets of text. I don't think we had that in the first. It's just quite cool just to read a little bit of uh, the text that follows the next few pages. Oh, that looks like London there. Uh, yeah, that looks like London. Some New York shots. Yeah, so there's cool little things, like even how the book's laid out. So you've got the mixture of like colour, so red here balances out of this small piece of red over this side. Those little details, um, I think they make a difference. Something you can think about on your photography website as well, if you're a photographer. So you've got patterns here. Um, think about props if you're a photographer. So this uh, lady is sitting on the, the mopeds here, on motorbikes. I think it's a great book, but so I'm going to flip through this quickly and keep quiet and uh, put some music over the top here and you can just uh, take this.